there's anything I know most about, it would be either a Lamborghini Miura or a Countach. Not is it only something that I'm extremely passionate about, but it's also something that essentially runs in my veins. It's, it's part of my, my DNA. I would say it's really the foundation for my car sort of passion, love, and, and, you know, is my grandfather, um, who immigrated from France. He ended up becoming one of the premier and first mechanics in the 60s on Ferraris and Lamborghinis. My dad and my grandfather did very well for himself. My dad was supposed to become a stockbroker. Uh, he didn't. Um, he fell in love with the cars. At 16, one of his first cars was a Lamborghini Miura. He bought and sold probably 10, 15 Lamborghini Miuras between the 60s and 70s. He ended up buying the New York Auto Show car, um, which he put away um, and would seldomly drive. So I grew up around Miuras and Countaches and Diablos. And then in the 80s, my dad became the authorized service for Lamborghini um, in Florida and in Palm Beach. chased this car uh, for, for a few months, about a year ago. At the time, we had just purchased a barn find, Mira S. And when I found this SV, it was in need of some work. It was primarily all original. Okay, you good? More? A little bit more? A little more, guys. More? It was like, hey, we got to do this project. Um, I called a collector. I, I said, hey, are you interested in our, our Mira S? He said, yes. He bought the car. We bought this car. Cut it back. Y yes. You Cut good. it back a little bit. Now stay right there. You good. Straight you good. it out. You good. Yeah. Straight it out. Back. No, no. It was a fun project. It was. A, it was a tough project. Our goal was to keep it as original as possible. How do you take a very crude road car? make it look like it's concours, but keep it as original as possible. And we did a very, I think we did an amazing balance of that. We had a lot of help from my dad, um, who was instrumental every day and sort of on the phone and there working. And he did majority of the work at Lamborghini Palm Beach with the help of their amazing staff and team. And he taught them, I mean, I, I think it was more, it, it wasn't a restoration, it was almost like a, a learning process for a few of the guys there. It was an amazing uh, sort of culmination of a lot of passionate people. I spent the past six months researching its history. I contacted Bonhams, who had sold it at one point. They gave me a catalog. I found an original catalog through a gentleman in England. There was a little name in it that the factory records had the wrong name of the original owner. So I was chasing this original owner that I was actually, it was a misspelling. So I ended up finding the name of the original owner and, and ended up finding out his history, which he ordered the car brand new, and he was actually a, uh, a former fighter pilot who was delivering newspapers in South Africa. So it's, it's one of those things where you build the story and, and you end up with an amazing product and result of that. To see it roll off the truck that day, there, it, it, was, it was more than exciting. And uh, it, it's, you know, not only is it to me one of the greatest cars ever made, but this sort of past year working on this car it's definitely something that everybody comes together and to see that finished product, it's nothing else like it.
you're working every day, and there's so many moving pieces. You have cars coming from all over the world, VIPs coming from all over the world. This year to the Miami Beach Concourse, we brought a few of our serious, serious toys. We brought every series of Lamborghini from the Aventador SV to the Aventador Roadster, Huracan Spider, Pagani Huayra.